Editor's Note This article was originally published on September 30, 2021. It has since been updated. Weddings are meant to be joyous occasions, celebrating the union of two people in love. But that was far from the truth for a couple believed to be from Central Asia. An unsuspecting bride was slapped across her face on her own wedding day by her groom. Why? Because she teased him by pretending to take a slice of his wedding cake away. The viral video starts with the groom finished feeding his wife a piece of cake, after which she jokingly moves his piece of cake away from his face. It was clear that the man had no sense of humor as he shocked guests by slapping his bride hard after her harmless, playful gesture. The man looked incredibly angry at her and his wife looked traumatized as real in the aftershock of his unexpected blow. Guests were left horrified as well. A man standing behind the groom grabbed him and spoke to him, while one of the guests tries to comfort the bride as she stands back up, reports the Daily Mail. Internet users were quick to condemn the man's abuse. One person pointed out, before he slapped her in front of other people, you could see by how she held her head down. She has been beat down by him before. She is not safe. Another concerned person noted, Most abusers are adamant about making sure no one sees. If he's willing to do this in front of an audience, then how frightening to think what he'd do in private. A third added, She was just being playful, and he processed it all wrong in his brain. Abusers usually do. This guy is abusive, and she's been slapped by him before. You can tell by her reaction that it wasn't the first time, and it certainly won't be the last. This woman looked absolutely miserable on her wedding day before the slap. She never should have married this guy. It's heartbreaking to know many people are subjected to this kind of abuse. One such case involves Sherry Waller, a 34-year-old mother of five. She was shot and killed by her boyfriend, who then killed himself. Her family did not know that she was in an abusive relationship until it was too late according to Vali on TV. Sister Praviana Lawrence later realized there were a few red flags. When it came to her job, she loved her work. And then it just got to the point she was going less and less, where she just wanted to be at home and be there when he gets there, Lawrence said. Lawrence is urging others to act earlier if they do see any signs of abuse. Encourage people like to get out. You do not have to stay just to get out, Lawrence said. Domestic Abuse Intervention Services Executive Director Shannon Berry shared, Domestic violence relationships, like any other relationships, start with a honeymoon phase so it doesn't start with violence. A lot of times it can be very difficult for people to even see that their, their partners are systematically starting to isolate them and starting to control different aspects of their life until it's going to kind of further down the line. The best way to help someone who may be subjected to abuse is to reach out to them. You can tell them, if you just need someone to talk to, if you want to just sit and have coffee, if you want support, if you need to reach out for resources, I'm just here. And if you choose to be with this person, I'm still here for you. And I'm still that person in your life," added Barry.